Hello, it's 11.54 p.m. still on Sunday, <clears throat> no, I mean, um, February 20th, 2022. So, <clears throat> the previous video, the gang stalkers prematurely cut off. So, <clears throat> um... This is the continuation of the previous video, but it, it's going to be tomorrow, mo Monday morning, when the video finally uploads throughout the middle of the night somewhere. So, I was bothered. <coughs> um, I wanted to try to straighten out what I was trying to say. That... um. And see, I was trying to get the truth out, and they and they censored me and shut me down. And two videos before, with me asking for prayers, you know, for my twin sister. Um. Two, I mean, two videos ago when I was asking for prayers for my twin sister. Um, that video. It just uploaded, just before midnight. And it took like three and a half hours to upload. <clears throat> so, so, um, usually at this place, it takes like half that time. So, um, they didn't want me, the perps didn't want me to, um, expose the truth of, and try to straighten out the smear campaigns and lies and character assassination. So, um, I, I just really can't, um, deal, like covert narcs make you feel like as if you can't trust anybody and, they, and they're the most lethal and damaging, <clears throat> but, um, and they're the main ones telling me trust no one or don't trust anybody. And then they themselves turn around and backstab and betray me and then switch their entire narrative about me after they turned against me and then falsely make it like as if I'm the one who's a perp when you don't even have any footage of yourself being gang stalked. But I don't have a problem with the person using the Bible. I have a problem. I mean, I don't have a person. I mean, a problem with the person quoting the Bible, but I have a problem with you using the Bible to justify your character assassination and smear campaign after you've been outed and exposed. And then nobody want to listen to me. So this lady put up a GoFundMe after I did. She was asking for money and asking for help too. So now all of a sudden I'm greedy. I'm begging I, you know, extort people for money. I'm a scammer and all that. When she used to encourage me to ask for, you know, ask for money for a hotel and motel. I never live off of, live in luxury off of other people's backs. So I wanted to straighten out. I didn't get, I didn't get, because I got cut off, I was almost finished. I wanted to try to clarify and straighten out that if you saw me with that occasional cheesecake video, or that occasional, um, you know, Chilean, that one time Chilean sea bass or whatever, cheesecake or something like that, you know, that was from money that I worked for. So I would never take somebody's money and then, you know, if I'm struggling and then go eat fancy off of it and then take pictures and just show them online. Like she had falsely accused me of. But I forgot she put up a GoFundMe copying off of me after, after I had a GoFundMe. And so I felt like I couldn't go to bed just with this on my mind and, and hear me trying to straighten out the lies, character assassination, smear campaigns and everything. 
And she's another one, you know, who everything she dirty she does to me, she revert she reverse it and lie and say I did it to her. And now she's lying and saying that I'm the perp. When she saw all my gang stalking videos and was following me and subscribed to me and everything, and all of a sudden she has her entire narrative that's changed. So, you know, I'm bothered by that. You know, I, wa I was trying to say that whatever cheesecake video or this video is from me, you know, like rewarding myself from my work, my whenever I would get to have a job. But I'm not going to try and go and buy cheesecake um, from money donated to me <clears throat> and and then you know people falsely accuse me of living and staying in luxury hotels off of other people's backs as well which is not true and guess what yesterday evening after the live stream that i did four people got hateful and unsubscribed i lost four subscribers and then one person who donated me a hundred dollars of cash after, and she said, "Oh, I'm a targeted individual, and you know, I I would like to have your phone number, and I would like to you know connect with other TIs and stuff." She has no content. She donated me a hundred dollars, and then I I realized that she was one of the four people that unsubscribed. You know, and I don't even know she must have YouTube searched my name and saw the false smear campaigns and lies and and rumors about me. You know, she just didn't even try to contact me again. I mean, I gave her my phone number so we can talk and stuff. So, you know, she claimed she was targeted but didn't have any videos up and saying she wanted to link up with other TIs. And that she felt sorry, for, you know, for what I was going through or whatever. And then I look and see that she was one of the four people that unsubscribed from me, <clears throat> you know. But she donated me $100. And, you know, that plus the 300 that another person had donated to me went towards this motel room, 365 a week. And then, you know, I'm doing a daily documentary. I mean, a daily documentation and a journey of what I'm doing with the money donated to me. And people still want to think what they want. So that lady that I was talking about in the previous video, in this video, who I'm not even going to mention her name. <clears throat> but she, I felt like I just didn't want my mind racing all night just thinking about this. And I wanted to be able to rest and go to bed in peace. <clears throat> and so, you know, she tried to, the lady tried to lie and say that I beg for people, beg people for money and then go buy a fancy meal and then take pictures and always talking about what I ate. When this lady, she's fat too. And acting like she's too ashamed to show herself. Show what she'll look like. You know, she'll do fake Christian YouTube videos. While behind closed doors doing people dirty. And perping and abusing people and stuff. And gaslighting. <clears throat> and then applauding perversion. Behind closed doors. But then make like she's invincible and can't be destroyed by God or like she can't be touched. And she's one of those religious narcs that brag about how God has just uh, brag and laugh about how God has just that she doesn't take pleasure in it. But that God has destroyed her enemies in front of her face. And I've seen a lot of religious narcs talk like that, like that, you, you know, lately. <clears throat> so it's it's like that lady who sent me four or oh, that female who sent me a hundred dollars 
She sent me a hundred dollars and offered support. And then last night, she unsubscribed from me. I don't know if she blocked me, but I don't have a way to contact her. This was a different lady, a new lady that I'm talking about that just donated me money like a couple of days ago or a few days ago. But the other lady, I can't, I'm not going to mention her name because I, I don't want to be warring back and forth all over again. <clears throat> you know, but the scam rumors didn't the scam the false rumors and smear campaigns about me being a scammer you know i would ne had never been known to be considered a scammer and i'm still not a scammer but alex dupree you know the gang stalker was the first one the one who ran me out of pensacola and i ended up in M mobile alabama he was, he was, he bragged and laughed, you know, he was, I mean, other people were coming to me saying that Alex Dupree said, don't donate you any money because you waste the money given to you. Cause he didn't want me to get any help trying to survive. And he just so badly wanted me to be locked up. And then he tried to act like he wanted to offer me to sell my soul to, you, you know, and become a Satanist like him. And I rejected that. And then. You know, the, he ramped up the harassment again. So that's where that originated from. You know, so then the fake T, the popular fake T.I. perps were making the false rumors about me on Twitter. And I thought it was just going to be a temporary emergency situation. But because of the way things are now, um, that, I mean, I haven't been able to secure housing. I was independent with my job, not asking for any money, not asking for anything. And then the perps want me back at square one. And I just want to say thank y'all for believing the truth and thanks for understanding and knowing about my targeting situation. And a true target would never scam anybody, really. You know, but nobody bats an eye or complains about all the money that the gang stalkers making for torturing and abusing us and destroying and sabotaging our lives. I would prefer a life where I wouldn't be needing to panhandle or beg or ask for money. And I would rather, you know, make my own money and enjoy and reap the fruits of my labor. But, you know, people have more compassion for a homeless man than a homeless woman. So, um, I've explained the things that's hindering me from employment also. I've, I've explained that. And lately, I, I told y'all that I've been mainly living off of canned food. And, um, not to tell TMI or anything like that, but yesterday i was able to um i'm saying for health documentation i guess after 10 days or so i was i i don't i lost track of how long it took but i i quit taking i backed off the bentonite claim and um <clears throat> maybe i was taking it for too long but that scared me you, you know that I ended up going so many days without even making a bowel movement. But yesterday, felt like I was constipated. <clears throat> and um, I finally was able to make a bowel movement. And, um, but I was still, you know, feeling, const you know, constipated. 
and my left side is now um kind of hurting like as if I mean I I think the food that I've been eating I ended up not being able to um <clears throat> you, you know make bowel movements because see in the other motel before my tooth cracked I was able to um even with taking the bentonite clay just about every day I was ending up making bowel movements with no problem but something happened like once I got in this motel I can't really make bowel movements and my seborrheic dermatitis and dry skin have snared up <clears throat> you know and I've been living mostly off of canned food and having not all that much money and, you know <clears throat> I mean I got a job I, I got the job interview Saturday I don't know if I'll get the job and so um <clears throat> so I'm trying as best as I can to survive and I say well how come it's okay for trannies like transgender <clears throat> people to um say that they need donations and that they need help for gender reassignment surgery which is a lifestyle choice and they get all the support and help and everything and nobody condemns them <clears throat> and other professed targeted individuals have up a GoFundMe or whatever other fundraiser cash at PayPal whatever but most of them are have sold out and even some of the ones who sold out still rocking around with a GoFundMe back then in 2019 and early 2020 a lot of targeted individuals had Cash App, Venmo, GoFundMe, um, PayPal, and, you know, <clears throat> but some targeted individuals either disappeared or sold out. And um, some people are still targeted, but just quit doing YouTube videos. And, um, <clears throat> so people criminalize me and make like I don't deserve to live like I don't deserve to survive I don't deserve to eat I'm blocked from employment you ought to know my struggles so if you're struggling and suffering and you had up a GoFundMe but then you condemn me saying that I'm you know committing you know that I'm you know being dishonest with the money donated to me you, you know well when that same lady that i talked about in a previous video <clears throat> when i put up an an ebook for my me and my twin sister's birthday a birthday ed edition for my short stories i put it for 2.99 like the other books and guess what her response is I mean, her response was that you should, um, you, that basically that I was basically cheating myself and that I should have charged more and that I should have charged $9.99 instead of the $2.99. But I felt like I didn't want to be greedy. And, and, and you know, I really would have wanted to share my short stories for free, you know. But if people wanted to donate, then they can donate like that. So I don't just, and they try to make, she, she also try to make like, oh, she just begs people for money and stuff. Like, no, motherfucker, because you, you used to enc try to encourage me to ask for help or ask for donations. And now all of a sudden you betrayed me and started acting like a perp, but then still try to make like you an invincible Christian. Like you can't be struck down or destroyed by God for your wicked deeds. So, you know, um, so 
it, it seemed like she wanted to give me suggestions on how to live life more expensively. You know, like suggesting that I go to a, take a Greyhound bus and go a couple of towns over and stay in a motel over there and then come back to Pensacola. You know, and at there was a point in time when I was, um, you know, <clears throat> a point in time when me being banned from seemingly what seemed like every hotel and motel and restaurant <laughs> what felt like what seemed like you know or all the cheaper and more affordable places <clears throat> so um but due to the gang stalking <clears throat> so um I'm fighting with all my might to get me a, a permanent place. I don't even have to own a car. You know, I just wish I could drive one more time in my life. But, you know, I have been striving and fighting to try to get a permanent place to live. But, you know, I, I do feel like having a car would open up more job opportunities. You know, so, and I kind of feel like if there was a way for me to do DoorDash, you, you know, how could I do DoorDash being banned from so many restaurants due to my homelessness and targeting? <clears throat> so, um. it's funny all these false I mean, I say funny, not laughable, but I'm saying strange that all these false accusations being made up about me and everybody believing it on purpose so I couldn't get help. And you think I deserve to be punished and destroyed and punished with being back homeless again on the streets to be stalked, followed, harassed, and tortured even more. And then you lie and say that, you, you use projection and lie and say that I'm the perp. After I exposed and covered your dirty ass. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that four people unsubscribed yesterday. I had up to 322 and now I'm down to 318. <clears throat> so, you know, people have becoming more weird and acting wishy-washy and, um, Nobody's consistent anymore. And um, people who keep lying and saying, I'm not selling my soul. They already sold it. Or they act like as if they already did. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I hate this nightmare of being forced to suffer. And, um... It's like people have more compassion and they will be more than ready to hand over all their money towards a, um, a tranny Satanist than an actual Christian who's struggling to survive. I mean, that um, gender reassignment, that's something you want. That's a luxury. But here, I'm trying to stay safe, warm, and dry and off the streets and people think I deserve to be punished and I'm not getting any jobs. So, but before I go, I wanted to say that, um, this coming week, like this week is supposed to be warm and nice weather. And I'm going to end up being very broke. And then Friday, this coming Friday, it's supposed to rain and then get back cold. And then all, all over the weekend, it's supposed to be cold again. So it's like been having like um cold and rainy weekends while nice, warm weekdays. And it's, you know, really scary for me to end up being back on the streets this coming Friday. But whenever the Friday after March 3rd, whenever that is, the Friday after March 3rd, 
that's when I get my social security check. So at least for a week, I may not have to beg or ask for money for then, but I have to pay my storage bill and my phone bill. But, you know, there's really no affordable housing and stuff like that. And then I'm being blocked from employment. And another TI, if you were sincere, then you would know another target struggles rather than going along with the gang stalker smear campaign. And I heard that the gang stalkers get paid to lie on you. And they don't want the target to eat or exist or survive or nothing like that. You know, but uh, for other people's money, you know, I go and try to find the cheapest thing that I can afford you know, at a restaurant or whatever, if I'm on the streets and stuff, but, you know, I would never try to take somebody's money and then go, you know, live fancy off of it, especially, you know, me trying to stretch that money, you know, the money donated to me, like, I'm trying to stretch the little bit that I have, but I know I have to go run errands tomorrow, well, later on today, because it's now 1221, I got errands to run. So I'm about to go to bed, and I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. And whoever believes me telling the truth, it means so much. Thank you.